Hi everyone, my name is Karina and today we're going to be going over the five crucial soft skills that everyone needs to know. So soft skills are basically your common skills, your core abilities, and these help in every workplace. These are five things that every candidate at an interview or every employee would need. So the first thing would be emotional intelligence. So that's your ability to regulate your emotions, to communicate, um, solve problems, reduce stress. So when you're communicating with people, you're communicating with a lot of different types of people. When it's either in person, whether it's in writing, or a big group or small group of people, um, it can be very stressful and your ability to regulate your emotions will help you reduce that stress and help you um, stay grounded in all these situations that may be very stressful to you. Um, so this is a characteristic of an effective leader. A lot of leaders have a high EQ, which is your emotional quotient. Um, and there are five emotional intelligence pillars by the research of Daniel Goleman. So one of them is motivation, the second is empathy, self-management, relationship management, and self-awareness. So if you have these five things and you're strong in these five traits, um, then you would end up having a higher emotional intelligence. The second thing is communication, whether it's in person, on the phone, writing, as I said before, a big group in front of a lot of people, or just a one-on-one, -on -one, um, you need to have that good communication. And along with that good communication, you need to have good listening. Everyone wants to see people who are able to articulate their thoughts while they're also listening intently and with empathy. The third thing would be adaptability. So. Um, businesses or companies are constantly changing, whether it's new um, guidelines in a business, new curricula at a school, um, maybe you're getting a new boss. So these are just different changes in your workplace that you would have to be able to adapt, adapt to. Um, and if you think about how people in your people are in a field for so long, it's because they're able to adapt after so many things have changed. And a span of like 10 years so many things are changing and their ability to adapt has allowed them to stay successful in their own field. The fourth thing would be critical thinking. So every job needs critical thinking. That's your ability to analyze facts, evidence, um, arguments, observations, and all these things in order to make a decision. So if you're a EKG technician, you have to be able to analyze these observations that you're making or the, the graphs on the screen. Um, if you are a detective, you're analyzing evidence in order to make a decision. So um, every job would need critical thinking in the end. And the last thing would be problem solving. So problem solving skills help in every work environment. Every day you're going to be hit with a different problem that you're going to need to overcome. So are you able to troubleshoot? Um, are you able to have that complicated thought process? And most importantly, do you have that drive to want to be able to solve the problem in general? So overall, soft skills are needed in every workplace um, in order to stay successful in your career or if you want to advance in your career. It's important to keep working on these soft skills. So in order to keep a healthy work environment, these five soft skills are a great place to start working on.